so the first thing I want to say is that Pila was definitely not a one person dream. How do we get our students in Pender County across the finish line? And the finish line being to graduate. When Ms. Winstead and I first started working together right after I arrived, she had taken over what we call in Pender County the STAR program, uh, which really was trying to target students that just needed something different. They needed small scale. They needed someone who can be right there with them, on them, you know, helping them through. We began to do some research and we reached out to some neighboring districts and we were learning about this virtual option. And so that became kind of a second leg that we were really curious about. We had the beginnings of an academic support program in STAR. Then, really even before the pandemic, we began to notice and, and see locally, regionally, nationally, the increasing number of students that were um, dealing with true mental health Concerns and needs. And so we began working on a concept called day treatment that um, exists in a lot of different places. And the idea is a school system can partner with a mental health agency where we can do what we're really good at, which is delivering academic supports. But we can partner with someone who's really good at delivering therapeutic mental health supports. And we do it embedded throughout a school day. Uh, and that's really what day treatment kind of gets at. And so we did some research, we visited some nearby programs. Uh, we began reaching out to some programs throughout the state, state trying to understand how they kind of go about doing it. And that became the third leg. It is what you would imagine um, most schools having. Um, we just, what we don't currently have are things like electives. Um, we don't have um, sports programs. Um, we are looking to really connect with our career and technical education um, partners, both in the community and even in other schools, try to make sure we can start offering that because that is one of the things we think will make the difference is not only getting the straight academics, but beginning to provide these students with immediate internships and apprenticeships. So as we look to year two and year three of our full program, uh, the CTE aspect is something that we're excited to be able to offer. But it is an in-person school. It has those other two legs, the, the star aspect of the academic enrichment and support and then you know, the day treatment are in-person programs. So two out of the three legs are actually in-person. Virtual is just one piece of, of the puzzle. Um, and I'm really excited. I, I think it's the beginning of something that could really change the lives of a number of students and families. Fender County does an amazing job with mid-year graduates. And, uh, we, we had that this January and the Innovative Learning Academy graduated its first group and uh, it, was, it was really cool.